Yeah, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A pleasure to speak to you today. Maybe you could kick off with a brief introduction to your film. Tell us a bit about what people can expect. Our film is Kensky's Kingdom, which is a, an animated family adventure film uh, based upon the book uh, by Michael Morpurgo. What was the inspiration behind wanting to make the film? Well, Michael Morpurgo had written this uh, classic novel, which is much loved, and of course many generations of children have, have studied this uh, at school now, and it's a beloved book. And I think after the success of War Horse, both in the theatre and as a Spielberg film, he wanted to make a film of it, and we decided that animation was the best way to bring this film to life. Uh, and so we embarked on a quite a long period of raising the money, but we finally got the money together. Got a terrific crew of European uh, artists together from all around Luxembourg, the UK, French artists, uh, and we put the crew together. Then COVID hit, but we still battled on and managed to uh, keep the film going and ended up with this rather beautiful, we think, and poetic film, um, adventure story for all the family, uh, but a film that has something very important to say about the environment and our relationship with it. And what can you tell us perhaps about the style of animation that it uses and some of the voiceover cast? Yeah, we've got an incredible cast in the film. We've got Sally Hawkins, we've got Killian Murphy, we've got Ken Watanabe, we've got an amazing newcomer called Aaron McGregor who plays the main character Michael, and we've got Rafi Cassidy playing his sister. Uh, it's in 2D hand-drawn animation style, it's very classic. Uh, it took a very long time to do, 900 days of production, uh, and we're very, very pleased with the results. And it feels like an uh, animated film is going from strength to strength, and, you know, obviously the way it evolves sometimes is both using newer technologies, but also harking back sometimes also to more traditional methods. So do you think it's in a really good place, the sort of genre as a whole? Uh, yes, I mean, the animation, you can do whatever you want. It's a, whatever, you know, if you can think it, you can do it. And uh, there's, you know, the hybridization of different styles using 3D and 2D hand-drawn, uh, even stop motion. You can blend all these together now to create like a, a, a mixed media look. And we've incorporated a lot of different techniques in our film. It's not just 2D hand-drawn. I mean, it looks that way, but we've used a lot of 3D techniques as well. Uh, and it's always very exciting to do. And what does it mean to you to have your film playing as part of the London Film Festival? Oh, we are so excited to be at the London Film Festival. Obviously, it's our home turf, so that's lovely. And uh, I think we're just proud because we managed to make a film that has, we think, an important emo uh, ecological message. It's an emotional film, but it's also, in a sense, an old-fashioned, old-school adventure story for the whole family. So to be able to show this film and hopefully get a lot of people to come along to see it is just tremendously exciting. Amazing. Well, thank you so much and can't wait for the festival to begin in a few weeks. Thanks a lot. Cheers.